Hi, this is James and welcome back to Mask and Tape Treasures. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. And contribute to my cash app. Okay, hook a brother up. All right, today we're going to be talking about the hottest place on earth. And the coldest place on earth. All right. And I thought no place could get colder than Chicago outside of Antarctica or something like that. You know, but it is colder. Okay. The hottest place on the planet is called Loot. Loot. The Loot Desert. Yes. It it's it's uh it topped off at about 159 degrees. 159 degrees. They say they say that there's no life there, no life on the surface, you know. But some animals and insects do live there, okay? Well, and coming out, you know, coming out, they come out at nighttime, you know. You know, the insects and stuff like that, okay? So, you know it's really hot. 159 degrees. Okay. When, when, you, when you're driving out there, when you're driving out there, your tires will literally, will literally burst. Your tires will burst because of the heat. Yes. Because of the heat. And... Your shoes would virtually virtually melt. Huh? They would melt. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, you can't you can't stay out of there no more than thirty minutes. No more than thirty minutes. You can't stay outside no more than thirty minutes before you start experiencing the heat and uh. <clears throat> Uh, dehydration. Yeah. That's crazy, ain't it? Yeah. I wouldn't want to live there. But look, there's a uh, 300,000 300, people that live there. No, it's not. No, it's not. But there's there's a lot of people that live there. Okay, a lot of people that live there, you know, you know, you can't you can't survive out there without being covered, like with a blanket or something like that. But still, after after you put that blanket on, you can only stay out there for 30 minutes. You can't you can only stay out there for 30 minutes, you know. And if you go out there without your skin covered. I give you 10 minutes before that's it you know yes so it's crazy you know what some birds some birds make it out there yeah some birds make it but they die, they die. because they die because the little water they got like little a little pool out there it's just a little pool the water there, the water there is so salty. It's very salty. That when they go down to drink it, they die of thirst. Because salt dries everything up, you know. So, th there's no way they can live out there. Now, there are small insects like uh, praying mantis, uh maybe a scorpion and stuff like that but those things go underground and so, and so do some of the lizards the lizards out there they go underground you know uh, i don't think they have any any uh of the big animals out there you know like lions and stuff like that you can't get nothing out there because they won't survive it won't survive, you know. 
but you can survive there at nighttime. At nighttime, the temperature gets to 113 degrees. That's still hot. That's still hot, but you can survive up there. Up there. And they say uh, you can, if you take a pot and bury it in the in the sand in maybe an hour, your meal will be cooked. So you can make soup out there. <laughs> yeah, you can make soup. You can make soup. Yeah, but I, I advise you not to go there. It's very, very hot. And I don't know. You you probably can't survive out there. You probably would die. Yeah, they say they say if you take your phone, you take your phone out immediately, it'll overheat. It'll overheat. And you know, that it, it'll just hold overheat. And then the plastic will start melting on it. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, it, the, the plastic will start melting until your phone is gone. You know, that's it. Man, that's crazy. crazy. Okay. Now, the coldest place on earth is the the Yaka, it's the Yaka. It's located in North Russia, okay? And it's about 300,000 people there that live there, okay? It gets around minus 71 degrees out there. Minus 71. Minus 71, okay? So that's 71 below zero. I, I couldn't I couldn't take it I couldn't take it I remember I was in Chicago one time before and it got like 40 something below zero and when your nose run it froze instantly tears froze on your face it, it was terrible if you talked in your mouth get would, would start getting froze that was terrible. It was a terrible time. I think it lasted like maybe three days. But man, you had to stay in the house. Stay your butt in the house. Yeah. Man. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. That uh you you have to uh keep your cars running too. Out here in, in the yacht yeah. Uh, you have to keep your cars running in Yakut, okay? You got to keep it running. Now, can you imagine not being able to turn your car off, period? If you turned it off, if you turned your car off, your oil would freeze like within 15 minutes. So people kept their cars running or they would take it to a heated garage. Probably you got to spend so much money. But if you got a car out there, you got to keep it running. And it's hard keeping your windows from fogging up. So they, they got cars with double windows. One window on the outside, the other one on the inside. With double windows. That's crazy, ain't it? Why would you live there? Why would why would you wanna want to live there? You know? Shoot, man. You know, like in temperatures like that, your phone couldn't take it. Like if you had your phone out there for like five minutes, gone. And when you try to film out there, you uh, you probably end up losing your equip equipment because you can only film for like maybe ten minutes at a time before everything starts freezing up. 
And the people out there, the people out there, they love it. They say they love the fresh air and the way of life there and everything. That's what they say. They say they love the way of life. They wouldn't trade it for nothing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Look, the city is built on permafrost. You know, like, it's built on ice. It's built on a big block of ice. Okay? So, with them building it like that, they have to build the houses like on stilt-like things, you know, so it won't be on the ground. The house won't be on the ground because, you know, in a house, you're going to keep your heat bumping. You're going to keep your heat blasting in there. But that heat will heat up that ice down there and you start sinking, start sinking, then, you know, you gone then. So to combat that, they build everything up high to keep it off the ground. And all of their plumbing and pipes are up high. So they build everything not underground. So it's crazy. It's crazy. But can, can you, you can't live like that, you know? There's no way to live, you know? You know, and they, they uh, you know, you can't live like that. It's hard living. Plus, it's cold, you know? You know, they, they survive off of horse meat. They survive off horse meat, fish, and rabbits. All frozen outside. All frozen outside. You know what? I saw them with the uh to walk out with a bucket of water, like a, a container with water in there. And they threw it in the air and immediately it turned to ice. It, it was like snow. That's crazy, ain't it? But people can live in some extreme places, you know. Extreme places, like in Luke, where the hottest place on earth. There's people that live there. Some of them, like, got little, built some little things underground. But most of them are in, like, clay huts or something, you know. I guess they can't leave or something. I don't know. But I would be gone. If I could survive a week there, gone. Gone. Shoot. Yeah, man. It's crazy. But they 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 recorded a, a temperature up in uh <clears throat> in Yakut. A temperature of one hundred and I think 177 no 77 below zero 77 below zero i don't know but i wouldn't want to live there i wouldn't want to live there well if i had to if the money was right Maybe I can last a week. But I would not go out. Maybe I'll go out at nighttime in the hottest place on that butt. Even when it's cold, when it's cold, there's no, no way you can you can run to. Look, there's people in Yakut that will they I don't know what they're trying to prove. But they cut a hole in the ice and they jump in. They jump in. But they don't stay in there long. They stay in there like maybe two minutes, two or three minutes. Then they get out and then they dry off or something. 
Yeah. That's crazy, ain't it? But they love doing it. Just to test their strength, I guess. If they see, can they take the cold? But I think their blood, their blood changes. Their, if you stay somewhere where it's extremely cold for a, a, a long time, I think your blood will kind of uh, heat up or something. Yep. Because they got in the water and the water was like 50 something, you know, below zero. 50 something below. They jumped in and they didn't even shiver. They didn't, you know, like, you know, like we would do. They didn't shiver. They dipped in there and they got out and they said, it is refreshing. It's refreshing. It's invigorating. That's crazy, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, oh, that's it for me. That's the the coldest place and the hottest place. Okay. The hottest place. Hottest. You know, Luke and Yakut. Yep. All right. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. And hit that bell notification. Hit that bell notification so that you'll know every time I drop another video. And share, share, share. Share my videos so that everyone will get this experience, okay? And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe, okay? All right. Peace. Adios. Salamit. Chair dance. <laughs>